Hello Aries, welcome to the Whistling Hermit YouTube channel. Okay, before we started the video, I was looking at the crystal ball and what I saw was a dog. Okay, uh, somehow the dog can symbolize really an actual pet dog. Okay, it can be. Maybe this is this dog is a very important role in your life right now. Maybe bringing you happiness, bringing you support, maybe, yeah. It can also symbolize a friend. A friend who is loyal to you, a friend who sticks with you through thick and thin, okay? It can be a partner also. The friend can be also a romantic partner. Uh, it is somebody who gives you unconditional love. Somebody who is there for you. Even if they feel helpless sometimes, they cannot do anything. They just stay with you. Even when they're already tired and uh, uh, maybe a little bit bored, if they feel you need uh, company, they will be there with you. Even if they cannot say anything, they will just silently be there with you. And you feel that support. And maybe you need to say thank you. <laughs> it helps a lot no? when out of the blue, suddenly somebody tells you, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Uh, being a gracious receiver to the friendship. So uh, maybe, yeah, that's one thing that you need to do right now. If there's somebody right now in your life who is always there, uh, a little short message saying thank you for being my friend thank you for being there always I think will boost the spirit of this person who has been with you all throughout this time okay now let us try to uh, what we are going to do right now is a relationship spread <laughs> very much related to the dog okay uh, and in the relationship spread uh, the first person that comes into your mind right now is the one that may be the energy of what we are going to read. Or you can think of somebody right now you want to think of. Uh, you pause the video, think of that person, and then afterwards you resume the video, and then we'll continue the reading. Okay, now uh, we're going to dedicate this deck to your energy and this other deck to the energy of the person that you are thinking of right now. Now, be aware that the energies can change anytime. So even if we are referring to your energy, you might find along the way, oh, this is no longer my energy. It's the energy of the other person. Well, it's normal. Uh, sometimes there is that interplay. So sometimes if we fail to see that also, it can mislead us and we can misunderstand the reading. So just be aware that anytime the energies can change. So you need to discern with me as we go through the reading. Okay, now this one in the middle represents what is happening in the relationship. So we'll start first with what is happening in you. Okay, your side of the deck. Okay. Okay, Aries, let's see what you have here right now. You know, I am uh, inspired to, I mean, inspired right now by the spirit to look at the bottom deck as our main energy. Okay, our main energy is letting go <laughs> you know there are certain situations in our life where you really lost something okay for example there, there is a competition and you got lost and you lost in the competition i guess the 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 main energy is learning to let go okay you lost it's part of life somebody has to win and somebody has to lose okay uh there are two energies that we can do. We can despair like that person in the distance. No, Like this person in the distance, he is in despair because he lost his sword. The other one, he just walks away and say, okay, I lost my sword. I can always buy a new one. Mm. So it's like that. Uh, learning to let go. Somebody won. If you lost, then let go. And begin again. It's part of life. Uh, instead of holding on, uh, being in misery, you can just move on and I think that is the energy here moving on and I feel it helps a lot when there is a dog that accompanies you or a friend that accompanies you uh, you know the beauty with having pets is that sometimes you can talk to them about your problems and you know that nobody will learn about it <laughs> they will keep your secret okay <laughs> so that is our main energy. I hope it resonates with you. Now, the first card for you is what you think of yourself right now. The second card is what you think of your partner. And then the third card represents what you think of your relationship at this present time. Oh, you know what? 
Hey. I took this one. It's supposed to be for the relationship. But then maybe there's a reason for that. So what happens now is the card that we took here will be for the relationship. Okay. We will serve it that way. There is a reason why that happened. Okay. Now this is for your other person. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> you know, sometimes no, when, when what apparently seems to be a mistake is actually not a mistake. It is the universe uh, trying to redirect things. Okay. Uh, interesting thing. No? Now this one represents what your partner thinks of the re of themselves. And this is what they think of you at this present time. Okay. And then this is what they think of the relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's getting interesting right now. Okay. Hmm. Now this one in the middle represents the strength of your relationship. Okay. The second one represents the weakness of your relationship. Okay. And then the third one represents what is uh, the near or the proximate future or the possible future in your relationship. Okay. When you look at your card and you look at the card of your person, it makes me think that the two of you just finish a painful relationship. You're both on the rebound. I do not know if both of you are on the rebound. But you see here, you... I see here a person who actually, yeah, the, you, you see the bird in her heart, it's uh, cracked, you know. Around the bird in her heart, there is a crack. So your heart was broken. And uh, maybe you are a, a spirit that sings. You know how it is. Um, you're the spirit who is very cheerful, uh, lively. You know, you like singing. You you like living the present moment. But uh, a certain event happened that made that cracked your heart. That you find it hard to sing right now. Okay. But then again, hmm, you set yourself free. Okay. So uh, this may be in the recent past. Okay. You. Your heart was cracked, no? and, and, and yeah, the bird that was singing was affected. No? But then again, in a certain sense, it's a blessing in disguise. Because finally, the bird in your heart was set free and able to fly. Okay, you see here, the bird is about to fly. So I feel you're right now in a stage in your life right now where a recent past has caused you pain. But now you are deciding to set yourself free. You're about to fly away from that situation. Okay. But you have not completely flown away. You see, it's just beginning to rise out from the palm of the hand. Okay. So I feel you have just finished a painful relationship. For some of you, it could be a third party relationship. But it has, was a painful situation that made you think, uh, gave you a lot of anxieties and heartache here. No, it cracked your heart. No, your heart was broken. Okay. But you are now in the process of healing. Uh, finally, your spirit is about to be set free. It's beginning to fly already. So you are already in the process of recovering. Uh, you are learning to fly again. No. At the same time, your friend is also also just walk out walk out from a relationship. Okay, this person, this other person you are thinking of, also just walk out from uh, another relationship. Also the same. So uh, maybe you met each other and both of you are in the rebound for some of you. Uh, the person is also walking away. Uh, she is, I think, by nature, this person, he or she, is a, a kind person. Because they walk away making sure that the affairs are okay. Maybe, yeah, no, they try to make sure that there are no, uh, no broken relationship. No, they settled everything. But they knew also it's time for them to walk away. So they decided to walk away. And right now, what they feel is that there's still a mystery. They don't know what awaits them now that they have decided to walk away. They decided to walk away. At the same time, you decided also to fly away. 
Okay, so both of you are living a painful situation in your life right now. Okay, now what you think of the other person? Right now, the other person is in the process of deciding. Okay, uh, but she's, who, he or she is able to balance things. Now, you see, uh, it, she's doing a lot of, of exhibitions with the yo-yo. Okay, <laughs> when you look at it, it's like she's doing a lot of exhibitions in the yo-yo. So I think, no, yeah, she is also in the process of healing right now because she is keeping herself busy. I think the main energy here is you see your your other person busy working on themselves maybe busy also healing themselves just as i think you are also busy of letting your bird uh the the your soul be free again so in a certain sense they are busy working on themselves busy uh also in the healing process what they think of you is that yes you are also beginning a new chapter in your life and Somehow, whatever this painful situation was, it allowed you to be who you truly are. Now you are not afraid to be who you truly are. And I think this is appreciated by this other person. They say, oh, this is a very adventurous person. Uh, he's beginning a new chapter in, he or she is beginning a new chapter in their life. And they are not afraid to be who they are. And they are on fire. Okay, so I feel, yes, it's like the bird, no, finally being set free. Uh, for even though it was a painful situation right now you feel you are again on fire and both of you are busy right now you are busy going to an adventure this one is also busy nurturing themselves no and uh, it's very interesting here later when you, maybe we could start already here okay uh, let's start also with the relationship and slowly move downwards no so when you look at here, Iris, when you look at the relationship, what is happening in your relationship? So this is what you are thinking of you right now. It's as if the painful situation, you have finally set yourself free from a painful situation. Uh, the other person, the person you are thinking of, finally said, I am finally walking away from a, from a situation. And uh, the, I am uh, filled with mystery of the new that is waiting for me. So in a certain sense, you are right now in the process of deciding what is next you're opening a new chapter and you're trying to decide what to do next in your life and everything is still a mystery and that's beautiful no I, I, I if you look at the cycles of the moon tomorrow will be the first quarter moon in aries wow yes aries and this reading is for you aries okay so when you look at it you're really beginning a new chapter both in the cycles of the moon both in your situation in your life no and and your partner also the same so right now in your relationship, the strength of your relationship, which is this one, is that both are you, you, number one, are using your intuition in making the decision. The sword can symbolize also that you use also your mind, your, your logical mind in making a decision, but is, it is further enhanced by your relying also to the messages that you receive through your intuition, the messages you receive from the universe. And at the same time, when you look at the sea, the sea is tranquil. It means that deep inside, uh, whatever pain it was, uh, everything is organized. You see, with your friend, uh, everything is already organized. So everything is tranquil. In you also, you are setting yourself free. So in a certain sense, there is a certain tranquility inside, a certain peace also inside. So this is the strength of your relationship right now. I think the strength is both of you are not in a hurry. You know how it is? when you immediately make a decision after a painful situation, it's like jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. For you, the two of you, you just took yourself out of the frying pan, but you don't jump into the fire. You are careful, you are studying things. So, so I think you are, you see here, you are grounded in reality, but at the same time in touch with your intuition. I think that's the beauty of your friendship right now or your relationship right now. No, you you are entering into this relationship uh, with your eyes open and your third eyes open. Okay, something like that. Now, uh, what is the weakness? I think it's not a weakness, but more of like a vulnerable vul vulnerability, because you are beginning to move forward. So, because you are beginning to move forward, of course, everything is new. At the same time, also, there is a certain vulnerability. There is also a certain uncertainty in your relationship because you are just beginning to start a new relationship and you are aware that you have come from a relationship that was painful. 
so in a certain sense like this one uh, you see your partner as still in the process of healing your partner also sees you as just beginning a new chapter in your life so also you are in the process of healing it's just a, you are exteriorly more ex, uh well, more expressive now in uh, I think exuberance because I think by nature you are really a, a bird that sings no? by nature your spirit is like a bird that constantly sings so now that you have been set free you're still in the process of healing but you are more expressive of this sense of this feeling of being free so yeah they look at you and see you as somebody who's flamboyant somebody who's cheerful something like that no but uh, yeah the, the 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 I think it's not really uh the uh, a certain weakness but it's it's uh you are not yet completely stable because you are just beginning the journey and there are so many things that you might still encounter along the way but everything is sunny so in a certain sense it's uh it's just the the, the mystery of the beginning i think here so it's not really a weakness but a certain vulnerability we're in because you are still undergoing healing you are beginning a new chapter so yes there might be some challenges that you will face along the way but your strength is that you are not just relying on your logical mind but also in the intuition you are listening and you are being guided by the universe which can be symbolized by the crescent moon okay the universe is slowly also guiding you teaching you along the way here again i see a crescent moon and yeah like the first quarter moon okay now what will happen in the near future in the near future is yes you will completely let go of this one you will realize that whatever you have left behind it's already a spilled cup and you need to take a new cup you know when the cup is spilled you cannot take any more you you cannot gather any more the whatever is the content of this cup that is filled so you have to close the chapter already i think this one is um reaching that point of complete healing where you will finally close the chapter turn around and face the new cups now the new relationships the new chapter that is opening so it's uh for me number five also is like like a transition period wherein you have to learn to let go and i think the challenge is that in the near future the two of you will have to really learn to address this situation that you have because sometimes when you are in the process of healing you don't immediately address the situation you try to uh, remove the pain first no. so like for example when when a child falls down and then they cry the parent would rush to the child and they will blow on the wound so the first aid that the parents does or the mother or the father does is they blow on the wound so that the pain will go away so in a certain sense after a painful situation the first thing that you do is you try to attend to the pain and then after they blow on the wound then they start to put the cleaning agent they start to clean the wound and then they put a band-aid in order to protect the wound and allow it to heal so i feel at, at this present time now that you have walked away from the situation the first thing that you will do is to yes work on healing and then also maybe pursue i, I think this one is pursuing your passion sir some things that are in their bucket lists that you were not able to do when you were preoccupied with the previous relationship so it's like uh, putting new interest nurturing your interest nurturing yourself and also nurturing your healing so you first try to uh, attend to the pain and then after you attend to the pain then you attend to the situation already you face a situation and then you realize yes it's something that i need to close already so I feel this is the final point of healing wherein you recognize that a chapter has just closed and it's time for you to move on. So I feel <clears throat> in the near future, yes, you, as if you continue on working on this healing process for the two of you, then you will be able to move on. Okay. And this one is the moving on, the healing, finally accepting that it's a closed chapter and it's time for you to start your relationships to get your relationship together. Okay, now what do you think of the relationship? Okay, what you think of the relationship is that somehow you feel this is a better relationship right now with this person. It's an equal giving and taking and you are somehow united with each other in the spirit. And you see here, there's a gentle smile and there are a lot of flowers there. It's as if you are being set free. 
just like the bird that is being set free. So for you, uh, what you think of yourself, you are being set free from an old situation. And then you think your partner is now preoccupied with healing. At the same time, also, when you look at your relationship, you appreciate this partner, this person, because there is an equal giving and taking, and that you are interconnected in the spirit. In fact, here is another symbol of interconnectedness. You see that the cups have roots and they are interconnected. This is uh, it's as, as if you're bound together, might not be the bond, the strength of the bond might not be seen by other people externally, but there is a secret bond that you have, you know, something that other people cannot notice, but you are really, really strongly connected with each other. It is under the, under the surface. You, the bond that you have is not just in the physical sense, because you are staying together, you see the two cups are staying together, but you are also bonded in the spirit, in the inner in the subconscious realm, no? uh, there is a certain bond in you. You seem to resonate with each other very well. Okay, uh, and it's very synergistic. What you think is that yeah, you are you you are flourishing because of this other person. So this is what you think of your relationship right now. Now the other person, what they think of the relationship right now is, uh, for some of you, they think you are the marriage material. Okay. You are somebody they are willing to begin life with, somebody they are willing to study, learn more about life together. You know? uh, it's like these two students, no? they, they, they are together as the universe teaches them new things. No? Uh, the Hierophant can also symbolize marriage, so you are, and at the same time, for me, these two pillars symbolizes that when you are together, your relationship is stable. Uh, when you equally give and take, your relationship is stable. You are like two pillars to each other. And these two pillars supports the relationship, no, which is the roof. No. So somehow your relationship is strong because both of you contribute to that relationship. So this is what they think of the relationship. Uh, it's a possibility of a good, strong uh, lifetime commitment. No. So it can be friendship also, a good, strong friendship of a lifetime. It can be also, no? so it can be like that. So uh, whatever it is that you have undergone, the two of you have, maybe it can be the same situation that you have undergone, or it can be a separate situation that you have undergone. It has allowed, uh, you are right now in the process of healing and somehow the presence of each other uh, helps, I think, somehow helps the healing process also. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, like, uh, it's like the sun after a rainy day, okay. It's like the rainbow after the rain, no. And uh, yeah, so in the near future, you might, uh, you will come to the point where in you would realize it's time to close the painful chapter of the past, okay. So this is what I can see for you right now, Aries. Now let us end this reading with Oracle cards. Now the Oracle cards is actually the last part of the you, me, and us, it is, uh, the advice of the universe for your relationship. Okay, so what is the advice of the universe for your relationship? Okay, Aries, let's see. Walk your truth. Okay, set yourself free. Be a bird that flies and walk your truth. Just like this page of wands, no? He is not afraid to be different. It's like saying to the world, well, this is me. You either accept me or just let me be. Okay, this is me. I'm not afraid to be me. Walk your truth. Okay. Don't be afraid to fly. At the same time, you see here, your other, your partner also is walking his or her truth. They are busy following their passion, just as you are busy following your passion. I feel that your passion is traveling <laughs> for some of you. Okay. Or being the fashion plate okay okay you you like to live in style the other person their passion is something a skill developing a skill maybe sports or maybe the arts maybe uh, something like that uh, follow your passion walk your truth don't be afraid to be who you truly are okay 
be passionate. And I think you support each other. I think that's the beauty about it. You support each other and you also are supported by the universe. Finally, we have your balance. Okay. This balance has been coming out the whole day. Uh, even in the morning, I saw it. And also in the tower to go, I saw it also. No Balance. It means, it seems that the energy today is balance. Um, yeah, I think it's the balance, the equal giving and taking in the relationship. I think that's one. Another balance is, yes, uh, not wallowing in your painful past, but also working on yourself towards healing. So not denying also the painful past, but at the same time also not not staying there. You try to balance things. No? You recognize that you have been in a painful past, but at the same time you work on yourself towards healing. I think the balance also is, yeah, learning to attain... Uh, healing when you attain healing you are also to in on a journey towards balance where the dark and the light side is there the yin and the yang is there okay uh, you allow the universe to teach you new lessons in life no? attaining a certain balance is like that taking the being in touch making decisions uh being grounded at the same time also listening to your intuition listening to the guidance of the universe no? Uh, balance is a very important thing right now for you, especially now that you are undergoing healing and also now that you are closing a new chapter and opening a new chapter in your life. Okay, so closing an old chapter, opening a new chapter, it's good to face it with balance. Maybe exercise is also good. No, uh, here you see here, I think one of the factors that will help you open the new chapter is also concentrating on exercise you see here this person is uh, in the lotus position so this person is dedicated into attaining balance uh, making sure that all his or her chakras are open okay unblocked you know? and being part of the process of healing is unblocking whatever chakras are blocked right now uh, right now i feel you need to attend to your lower chakras yeah because the higher chakras, you are aware of the divine in a certain sense right now. And you seem to be able to communicate well with each other. And also, uh, despite of the painful situation, you are capable of loving unconditionally. So the higher chakras are okay, but maybe the lower chakras need to be attended to right now. So this is what I can see for you right now, Aries, for you, me, and us. I hope it has been fruitful for you. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you feel this can help your person right now, don't hesitate to share it with them. Okay. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.